Okay, here's a short video with the problem I've been having with rotational joints in 3ds Max. The, uh, the problem we're trying to solve here is a landing gear for an airplane and the landing gear needs to rotate out of the fuselage and the landing gear door needs to rotate open as part of that. So uh, we've created a a set of bones here um, to drive a push rod between the landing gear and the door uh, and then from the door connection up to the hinge of the door. So this door needs to rotate about the uh, the axis here and uh, when it opens then the landing gear can come out. So this is just a simple door illustrating the problem. <coughs> We've created a HDIK solver to try and drive this animation. So uh, we've set up the bones and in particular the root bone has a limit on its rotation so we've turned off the X and Z rotation and we only support Y rotation here. And then we have our uh, end effector down here and it's just basically a positional uh, end effector that's attached to this hinge joint. Um, so if we try and drive this animation using the HDIK solver, it works for the most part. We can see the door start to open uh, and everything looks good up until a certain point and then we see that the door snaps back to basically a closed position and we can see that the end effector has moved out of position with the uh, hinge that it's supposed to be attached to, the end goal. Um, so there's something wrong with the calculations about how this is uh, actually um, driving the HD animation. Now I've tried doing things like applying limits. So one of the things that we ought to be able to do is select our root bone and go to the IK, turn on limited, and then we've set the uh, starting position and the ending position that we want to support. And we can see that we have this arc here that's supposed to uh, define the limit of rotation. So now if we try and support, if we try and use that, we have our animation and we should see the door traveling along the limit and everything looks good again up until a certain point not haven't reached the limit yet but at, at some point the uh, calculations will not go past that it looks like about 90 degrees of rotation and then it snaps back into an earlier part of the rotation with the end effector out of position again um, and that is even if we have selected the threshold to be zero for our end effector. So there's some kind of a problem in the calculations and I'm not sure what it is, but um, if anybody has any ideas, please contact me and let me know. Thanks.